Hey, ready fish. It's the 12th of March, 2018. And I'm just doing my afternoon news check here, and I want to I wanna show you something. It's pretty cool. I, I left Drudge open early this morning before I left, and I saw this image on here of Elon Musk upside down. That is perfectly, perfectly fitting. And something I want to go deeper into, but I want to show you this real quick. It's, it's late, but this is kind of cool. I opened some articles up, but I was looking down here in the middle row. And right down here, I see these three articles right up close to each other. One's talking about a woman who spends 19 grand to fix her 17-year-old cat. Then we have bra bandits stealing 11 worth of lingerie. Then we have Stormy Daniels paying back 130 k so she can talk Trump. 17, the 153, 11, the transition, the chaos coming, and the 13, the rebellion rising, the stormy Daniels. And I'm going to do a study in Daniel because I guarantee you something ties together in that. But I just thought that that was pretty wild. And and I wouldn't have just, you know, come on to, to show you that. Well, maybe I would have, but... It's, it gets better than that because this morning there was a, a, um, an airplane crash. I'm sure a lot of you probably seen stuff about it. And this morning I pulled up a couple articles on it before I left. I'm trying to find it here before I get off track. Yeah, here they are. And, um, it was a crash in Nepal. And these articles came out. This one came out at 8.07, this one came out at 7.07, and this one came out at 5.27. Now, think about that. 5.27 a.m. Eastern Time, 7.07 a.m. Eastern Time, 8.07 a.m. Eastern Time. And they all have the wrong figures on how many were killed in this plane crash. Now that's what I call accurate reporting. I think most of it is just bots anyway. It's not even real people reporting anymore. They just get like an alert and they just wing it. But check this out. Out of these three articles with the wrong information, right? We had this one here. This was the earliest one. And it just tells us there were 71 people on board. Didn't, doesn't tell us how many die, but it's, it has some very, very interesting numbers in here that we've been seeing lately, like the 38 makes an 11, and our 17 we make right there. The 17, again, and then we have this one, the 38, there's the 11, again, and then we have this one, there's the 13, again, it's just everywhere, people everywhere 17 11 13 i mean really 17 11 13 completely totally and utterly separate articles separate times separate parts of the world and there they are and it's not even it's not even like a surprise to me anymore because the Spirit of God is being poured out like like I've never seen, but what do I know? You know what I mean? This is this is a lot of this is new to me, people. But I'll tell you what, it's real. God is real. The God of the Bible is real. And Jesus Christ, his son, who came in the flesh and died on the cross and bled his perfect blood to cover the sins of this world. To offer us a free gift, an undeserving gift of redemption, salvation, and eternal life with him. You can't make that up. And it's real. And it's upon us to where the, the time of choice, the time to take your time to maybe dabble into the Bible. And, you know, maybe I'll look into Jesus. I don't know. That time is running out. And, you know, I can't stress it enough, and I'm going to say it, and then there's going to be one day where I ain't going to be here to say it. And you're going to start to have to figure it out the hard way. 
But these signs, for me, are no doubt here for a specific purpose. You, you, you don't, you, this just doesn't happen, okay? So I just want to share that with you and maybe a bit of encouragement, you know what I mean? Because I'm encouraged, I'm psyched. I mean, whatever comes, you know, if God be with us, who can be against us? Praise Jesus. So, that was fun. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 